when you're talking to your customers, um, what is your strategy and your approach, um, your secret sauce, if you will, to defining a health score for them? Yeah, you know, normally when I start working with customer success teams, they ask to create a health score. And really what they mean is, can we predict churn? <laughs> can we predict the likelihood of renewal? And I, th I think that's a mistake. I, yeah, ultimately we want all the customers to renew, but shouldn't the product team be also concerned about that? Because if they design the proper product, then the customer would renew anyways. And shouldn't the like support team be concerned about that because if they answered all the tickets quickly and the customers had no issues, then of course they would renew. Like everybody impacts the renewal in some way. Um, and but what happens if we design a scorecard to just predict renewal, two things happen. One, the customer success team tries to you know, chase those risky clients and sort of start neglecting the the good clients where they could still add value. And it doesn't really highlight the area that the customer success team should care about or even the customer cares about. So think about, um, you know, if you were to come into a decision to renew as a customer of some software company, you know, would you really ask yourself, did I create support tickets in the last four months? Or would you ask yourself, how many escalation support tickets did we create or we got escalated? No, you're not. You're gonna ask yourself question as like, is the solution helping me become better at what we do? Are, we, are they helping me optimize my processes? Are they helping me become best of breed in my own domain within my organization? Are they helping me save time? Are they helping me uh, increase revenue? Is there another vendor out there that has the same features or fairly close at a cheaper cost so those are the kind of questions we ask ourselves, you know, are we getting enough value from this solution and does it match our current business needs? Does it make sense? Do we get a good ROI? Uh, you know, unfortunately, what happens is the score looks like, you know, it's supposed to answer these kind of things like, all right, can we get them to buy more licenses? Um, can we get them to renew? And can we get them to buy maybe more services? And like, what are the things that maybe not going very well right now? So it's not, it's not aligned. It's not customer centric. So when I work with customers, I want them to, first of all, clearly define what the CSM role is in a proactive standpoint. And now that we've defined that role and we know what the objectives are, we want to define the scores that would help the customer success team align to that. Think about it like this. Uh, Norbert Wiener said that in 1960. He was like, so, like one of the fathers of AI, right? And he said something that I think is very smart and very applicable to CSMs. We had better be quite sure that the purpose put into the machine, in our case is this, the calculated scorecard, is the purpose which we really desire. So if we really desire that the CSMs be proactive with the customers, develop a trusted advisor relationship, help them see why we're the right choice for them as a vendor in terms of relationships and product standpoint, then we want to make sure that we put the right ingredients into the score. Otherwise, we're going to be super reactive.